Greetings and thank you so much for this privilege of being able to come to you day after day and share the word of God with you and spend a few moments in prayer with you. This week, we are going to spend time in Jeremiah chapter 18, looking at verses 1 through 6. This is a very familiar passage where the Lord speaks to Jeremiah and he sends him to the potter's house. And when Jeremiah goes down to the potter's house, uh, he sees the potter working at the wheel. And the vessel that he was working on was marred in his hand. And so he restarts or he resumes uh, the work once again on the clay uh, as he, it seemed good to the potter to make it. And then the Lord speaks to Jeremiah and says, Jeremiah, is in the house of Israel the same way? Uh, can I not do with you as the spotter? Look, as the clay is in the, hand, in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Now we understand in Jeremiah 18, God is speaking concerning an entire nation. But we find other references, and even in the New Testament, uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, uh, Paul says that, you know, we have the treasure in earthen vessels. Or in 2 Timothy chapter 2, Paul talks about us being vessels of honor. God. So he uses that analogy uh, in concerning us as people of God as well, as individuals as well. And so we can therefore draw some insights, spiritual insights, from this analogy of the potter, the clay, how the potter works on the clay. And that's what we want to do this week. And we trust that the insights we draw will encourage our hearts. First of all, as we look at this example, this illustration, of course, we're going to talk about the potter himself. What do we know about the potter? When you think about the clay that is in the hand of the potter, you know, really the clay itself is, is in the right hands. The potter is, is supreme. And when we talk about God as potter, the, uh, the, under, the, the, the significance of the potter just increases many fold. The one who is the potter, he is God. The one who is going to work on our lives, he is almighty God. He is God who is all wisdom, he is God who is all powerful, he is God who is all knowing, he is God who is uh, who is so infinite in his wisdom and so infinite in his power and he is the potter. Should there be any reason for you and me to be concerned or worried that the potter would make any mistake or the potter would uh, be incapable of shaping this uh, uh, lump of clay into something meaningful and something wonderful? Surely not. We have nothing to be worried about. So today and this week, as we talk about the potter and the clay, the first thing we must understand is to see the greatness of the potter, the one who's working on our lives as the potter. He is omnipotent God, omniscient God. He, he is God who is omnipresent. He is all-powerful. This great, magnificent, omnipotent one is the one who is working on our lives. This potter can never go wrong. We can rest assured of that. Let's pray. God, we look to you. You are the potter. We are the clay. And as the potter, our minds cannot even fathom how great you are, how privileged we are. And you, O oh God, are the potter. We could not have asked for anyone else any other better person, better potter. You are God, other potter. And we submit to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.